Alright, what's up everybody? Today I'm going to show you how to uh, mod Borderlands. And uh, first thing you need to do is uh, download the file in the description. It's a program called Willow Tree, and uh, that's how you mod Borderlands. So first things first, you want to grab the save file off your PS3 and or Xbox. Right now I am doing PS3 because I don't own an Xbox, but Willow Tree, I'm pretty sure works with both. So for PS3 anyway, go to your save data utilities, go in here, find your Borderlands account thingy, whatever you want, right, um, sure I'll take this one, uh, go ahead and put it on your USB device, obviously after you've plugged it into your PS3, go ahead once it's done, right, alright, now, now, take your USB device and plug it in the computer. Alright, now we're over at the computer and you have the Willow Tree downloaded and extracted to the folder of your choosing. And you go ahead and open it. So, here, here's Willow Tree. Go ahead and uh, open your game save, which. Start from the beginning. I keep. I just leave mine on the uh, flash drive for easy purposes, and I believe that one's it. But you can go ahead and check them and test them, so you can see the name and level, so you make sure which one's which and stuff. Um, you can pretty much change anything in here if you want. Uh, your class. Yeah, it's pretty sweet. You can change your class, level, experience, skill points. A hundred and six is the perfect amount that is everything filled in your tree cash obviously doesn't really matter you just have unlimited after that set your location where you're at um, and then the fun stuff is weapons so what you're gonna wanna do is find a weapon that you already have or if not I'm pretty sure new works but don't hold me to it. Uh, be safer just to use a weapon that you already have so you don't, you know, mess up with this weapon. Or if it doesn't work. So, what you're going to want to do is go to blmodding.wiki.com. You know, spelt out dot and then a period. Come in here, and this has got a whole bunch of information on. Um, modding Borderlands and stuff. The easiest thing that I found to do is um, you can go and do Hall of Fame and then the I do the 130 patch because it's the newest. I don't know. I just feel I've never tried anything from the 120, but here you've got all your stuff here: your shotgun, sniper, launchers, pistols, SMGs, revolvers. I don't know what that is. I'm too lazy to try and sound it out because I sound like an idiot. Um, shields, mods, grenades, Scorpios, sure, uh, miscellaneous and PC, PC, I don't know what it is, but it seems kind of dumb, because it's empty weapons and stuff, miscellaneous, those are kind of nice and cool, you can get your, um, SDU ammo up to 16 by just a click pretty nice skill points upgrade you can put like seven or eight of those in there send them out to friends and stuff um now I'm gonna go to snipers the shredder is like the godliest sniper in the game but you can't use it because it's got a level requirement of insanely crazy high but you can go through here check out all the snipers and stuff and find which one you like the best so I'm going to I'll take I'll take this one right here this one sure go in here you just copy it go back into your willow tree you can pick any of these or create a new one import from clipboard and then you're pretty much set um your weapon info will show you the damage and stuff if you're not a level 61 but you feel like still using a pretty decent sniper you can uh lower the level like my main account is a 33 so that and still does 566 damage with I believe a times of three or well, maybe I don't know 
You'll find that later uh, later in the game. Um, quantity. I know that's remaining ammo. Quantities on other things. Um, you had save changes, and it changed it. So then items is pretty much the same way. Unknown. I have found that this to be a very good um, shield, which would be in the shield category of Hall of Fame. And it's pretty much unstoppable. Um, I believe it is this one. And it's. You pretty much take no damage. And there's no level requirement either, which is nice. Well, at least there wasn't on mine. I don't know if I changed something and I don't remember. And then unknown items. This is the uh, item. What is this? This is a skill point. And this is a shotgun level 6 SUD. Um, go in and change your skills. Level 50. And doing something like this in items works the same way, except you can put quantity, how many you want. Which is kind of nice. You don't have to keep putting the same code in over and over and over. So, that's pretty much it. I don't know what ammo pool is, echo logs. You should know what an echo log is. I don't really know how to work this section, but you should know what an echo log is. Um, other than that, there's not much else that you can do in here. Oh, one more thing before I stop this. You can go up here, and if you want a completely custom weapon, you can go to... Oh, where is it? Uh, it's in here somewhere. I'll find it. It's it's a creator. It's a generator type thingy. Uh, maybe it's in here. Ah, there it is. It's in modding Borderlands and then gear calculator, which is pretty nice. I had a couple. I had a little bit of trouble with mine. It kept freezing and stuff, but it's pretty cool if it works. You can go in here. You want a shield? Ironclad, shield, side four, something, you know, just start putting random stuff and then you click calculate and it'll give you that over here. And uh, code, come in code. You can export, which I could never seem to get to work. Or I just, what I ended up doing was copying each individual section of code, which was a slight pain in the butt because I don't think doing it like this is going to work because, it, yeah because you need those little zeros and values and stuff on it so that one's not gonna really work if you wanted to do it that way you'd have to put it into like a notepad or something and then see, I'll bring a notepad over put it in a notepad hmm So I guess you gotta put it in a notepad first. I guess. And it's still I don't know. If you really wanted this one. If you really wanted this, you could go line by line. Or you could just get one off of the uh Hall of Fame. Which seems to be a little a lot easier. So that's about it. And um now we're going to go put it back on the flash drive, which once you get everything saved, don't forget after you do something, hang on, I'm going to delete this, you have to save it, like that, save, you know, do whatever you're going to do, save, then once you're done, you just save it, you're good to go. Alright, now let's move it back to the PS3. Alright, here we are back at the XMB, and... Putting the save file back onto the PS3. Um, here we go. The one that we just did. Click triangle. Come over here. Copy. Sure you want to copy? Yep. Back over to that. Oh, done. Alright, click triangle. Alright, uh pretty much it you go in and uh, load up some borderlands and stop it because it takes forever 
Well, here we are at the Borderlands main menu, and uh, I'm going to start this up. Going normal. And uh, load your modded character. All right. Here we go. See, there is a uh, the first sniper I picked. There is uh, another sniper that I've already previously had. There's the Twisted Shredder. It's an alien rifle. If you want to check that out, um, it's another good one. And here is that insanely crazy one that's can't be used but the damage is freaking amazing now here's the um <clears throat> shield which is very nice and no level skill point upgrade go ahead and use it and this is a uh, stock deck upgrade now uh, watch my shotgun ammo 200 so that's one way to do stuff like that um skills are 50 and <clears throat> see I have 107 because I used one but you don't have to and see I have enough to so I've got plenty of skill points 106 is perfect but if you are using an existing character that doesn't have any skill points you might want to you know go through count how many you have so you've got one tree already filled. You just want enough to fill the rest of them. So go through and do that. Otherwise, it's kind of annoying. Um. Other than that, it's pretty good. Um. Put some stuff on here. I don't have any class mods or anything because. I didn't decide to do that, but blah blah blah, right, right, see this is Sniper, which will pretty much drop anything, yeah, if I can hit it, um, this gun is sweet. It's a little slow on reloads and stuff, but other than that, it's a crazy weapon. And my shotgun, which I apparently have no ammo for, but it's pretty much like a freaking sniper rifle. So this is what you can do when you mod Borderlands. All right, that's it. I'm out.